Hi, I'm John Higgins and welcome to my channel. Today I'll be uh, sharing a very short video with you on another uh, very important component for a virtual pipe organ. As you can see, we have the three Nectar Impact GX61 keyboards, uh, which all have their MIDI USB outputs. And as you would have seen from the earlier videos, the MIDI pedal board, which I've wired up and, and um, put in position. So all of these components have their MIDI outputs and most people would use either a laptop or a desktop um, to run their Haptwork um, virtual pipe organ software. And most um, desktops and even laptops may not have enough USB ports for the job. So an important component is a, a USB hub and um, pr preferably a powered hub of USB 3, which is the high speed um, for um, larger data quantities. So as you would have seen in the earlier videos, the internals of this instrument have been stripped out. So I'm utilizing the space down here and this will all be um, covered up in due course. So you can see the powered USB hub, which I've purchased here, and any uh, reputable brand would be suitable. And you can see this particular hub has uh, seven outlets, so there's three on this side, uh, one on the end, and another three on this side. It is worth noting that some, some of these USB hubs do not have high speed on all of the outlets. So this particular one has uh, four or five of the seven are high speed and the others are um, USB 2 speed. And they're okay if you're powering a mouse or a keyboard or um, a phone charger or something like that, but if you need high data transfer rates, which is really important for the MIDI keyboards because otherwise there's issues with um, buffering and sample rate and then you start getting a lag or what's called latency. So when you press the keys, there'll be a delay between when you actually hear the sound and when you're playing fast passages, that can be really quite awful. Uh, you'll see here also there's a, a power supply um, which feeds back and is plugged into the power point down here. Um, that also helps because it means all the keyboards are powered from this USB hub rather than draining your laptop battery uh, or if you're choosing to use a desktop. So um, they're not cheap but it's important to have this to get it right. So um, again, uh, there may be other computer experts who will have better ideas as to the product or how you can do this or what compromises can be made to have an acceptable outcome, but I went with this solution and it's been excellent so far. So as, as you can see, the three keyboard MIDI cables are fed from inside the organ case and I've got them fed direct directly in the powers coming in the pedal board with its circuit circuit board and, and MIDI converter feeds into it and then up the top I have the audio interface and the USB um, outlet from the hub which then goes into the laptop so that's how that system works and that way when you're setting up to practice it's just one plug and it's ready to go which is nice and simple um, some people may certainly be looking at having a uh, desktop computer that's fixed with their organ and that's something i'm considering as well but in the short term i'm using a laptop 
So that's all for today. Uh, as always, if you have any suggestions or ideas, uh, please feel free to, to comment and put them forward. Um, this is just one way that, that I've experimented with that's working, but I'm sure there are other ways. And um, the organist community is very supportive and encouraging, which I think is fantastic. So if we can all help each other out, that's great for organ music in general and for our listeners. So take care and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye.